Mr. Jacques Fremont, President of Ottawa University, Dr. Kevin Page, Professor Irvin Butler, distinguished guests. Uh, it's a great pleasure and honor for me as the High Commissioner of India to join you all this, this evening for this seminar on democracy, non-violent struggles for recognition. As we meet here, the world's biggest festival of democracy is unfolding in India, where 900 million people are voting in 1,030,000 polling stations across the country using 2.33 million electronic voting machines to choose the representatives to the 17th Lok Sabha. The elections are being supervised by 12 million electoral and security officials, almost one-third the population of Canada. If Indians have this privilege of being the world's largest democracy, then it is in large measure because of the contribution of one man, Mahatma Gandhi, who led the non-violent struggle against British colonialism and won us our independence. In this post-truth world that we are inhabiting today, where violence and ethnic conflict is on the rise, where narrow domestic walls are being constructed to keep the other out, I think Mahatma Gandhi's message of peace, truth, harmony, reconciliation rings even more loudly than it was during his time. And I am delighted that the panel that has gathered here today is probably the finest panel in the world. Because there are two kinds of people. They are preachers, those who preach a message, and they are practitioners. Tonight, we have three practitioners. Dr. Raj Mohan Gandhi, Dr. Ibrahim Ibrahim, whom I used to know during my own posting in South Africa, and of course, Dr. Cindy Blackstone. So, like all of you, I am eagerly looking forward to hear the message that they give us, a message which I think can provide a light during our dark times. Thank you. <laughs> 